Hi everyone, my name is Coral and today we're going to be talking about genetic developmental pathways. For today, we have a special Green Arrow edition. Let's get into it. As you may know, the main character in the show is Oliver Queen, also known as the Green Arrow. During the show, he runs into Ricardo Diaz, aka Diaz, or better known as one of the worst characters to exist in the show. Because Diaz is a bad guy, Oliver wants to kill or inhibit him, however it's not as simple as it seems. This is because Laurel Lance from Earth 2, otherwise known as Black Siren, Laurel wants to stop or inhibit Oliver from killing Diaz because she is working with Diaz and is on his side. However, this is further complicated when Quentin Lance comes into the story. Quentin is the father to Laura Lance from Earth 1. Because she passed away and he's missing his daughter, he believes that he can help connect to Laurel from Earth 2 and convince her to stop helping Diaz. But this is complicated. He is stuck trying to hold on to what remains of his daughter and the new Laurel and deciding whether or not to let the evil version of his daughter go. This is where the lovely Felicity Smoke comes into play. Not only is she a tech genius, but she's in love with Oliver and consequently hates Diaz. Because of this, Felicity promotes Quentin to stop Laurel. So we have Quentin inhibiting Laurel, Laurel inhibiting Oliver, and Oliver inhibiting Diaz. If we put this all together, we have a diagram of our five characters. Now you might be thinking to yourselves, what if a mutation in the sequence were to occur? For example, if Felicity was gone, then she would not promote Quentin, and Quentin would not inhibit Laurel, so therefore Laurel would inhibit Oliver, and Oliver would not be able to inhibit Diaz. So Diaz lives, which is bad. Now, if Quentin was gone, it would be similar to the scenario in which Felicity was gone. Quentin couldn't inhibit Laurel, therefore Laurel would inhibit Oliver, and Oliver would not inhibit Diaz. Meaning, Diaz lives, sadly, once again. Now, for instance, what would happen if we didn't have Laurel? In this case, there would be no one to inhibit Oliver, so Oliver would therefore inhibit Diaz, and Diaz would die. Hooray! All of the previous examples were related to single mutations, but what would happen if there were double mutations? If both Felicity and Quentin were gone, this would be similar to if just Quentin was gone, given that he is more downstream. Quentin would not inhibit Laurel, Laurel then would inhibit Oliver, and Oliver would not be able to inhibit Diaz, so Diaz lives once again. But what if both Quentin and Laurel were gone? Here, Laurel would not inhibit Oliver, so Oliver would therefore be able to inhibit Diaz. So in this case, Diaz dies and Oliver wins. Hooray! Well, there you have it. That's today's lesson on genetic developmental pathways, green arrow style. Until next time.